probability events that are not mutually exclusive so here is an excellent example on not mutually exclusive events the question here is out of 3300 households surveyed 1243 had a dog 311 had cat and 74 had both dog and cat what is the probability that a randomly selected household has a dog or a cat right so that is what it is now when we say or so what we are trying to do is let us make a Venn diagram and then then I'll show you what we are trying to say here so the question here is out of 3300 household surveyed, so total households surveyed are 3300, right? That is the total number of households. 1243 had dog, 311 had cat. So let's say these are for dogs. How, how many households have dog? And then we have here households which have cat, right? Now you'll see when you're talking about households having dogs or cat, then there are some which have both you understand now when we're talking about probability of dogs or cat the ones which are both they get added twice right so when we are talking about probability of dogs or cat and we add their individual probabilities we are adding the common the households which have both dog and cat twice so we need to take it out or find the difference now that is what mutually exclusive events are so mutually exclusive are when we say there are two events a or b then there are many of them which are common therefore they are not exclusive right so those common elements have been counted twice so we need to take them out once we find the probability so what we're trying to say is in this particular case probability of dog or cat means probability of having dog plus probability of having cat minus probability of having dog and cat Do you understand both dog and cat since this portion which is dog and cat is being added twice when we do probability of dog and probability of cat right you can see here probability of dog is like this circle probability of cat is that circle so in between we added this two times once with probability of dog and the second time with probability of cat therefore we need to take it out once so that is the key thing here to solve mutually exclusive and not mutually exclusive problems so if it is not mutually exclusive there is an overlap but if it is mutually exclusive, then there is no overlap and this is not required. So that is kind of a thing which you need to understand. So in this case, it is overlapping. Since we are given that there are 74 that had both dog and cat. So there is 74 here. Do you understand? 74 here means that out of 1243, which have dogs, how many have only dogs? 1243 minus 74 will have only dogs, right? That is what it means. 1243 minus 74, which gives us a number 1169. So 1169 have dogs. How many have only cats? 311 minus 74. 311 minus 74 are the households which have only cats. Do you understand? 237. If you add 237 and 74, you'll get 311. If you add 1169 and 74, you'll get 1243. So you see 74 is being added two times. That is the reason that for all cases which are not mutually exclusive, we add the probabilities of individuals and take away the probability of both together. So in this case, what is the probability of a household to have a dog the probability is 1243 divided by 3300 right 1243 divided by 3300 
And what is the probability of a household having a cat? It is 311 divided by 3300, right? And we have to take away probability of having both. That is 74 over 3300, right? So that gives us 3300. And let's do this 1243 plus 311 minus 74. That gives us, let me use the calculator, 1243 plus 311 minus 74, which is 1480. So 1480 divided by 3300. So this can be simplified. And let's see what do we get. Divide by 4 over 165. Right? So dividing by 2, we get 74 over 165. So that is the probability of an household. So what is the probability that a randomly selected household has a dog or a cat? It is 74 over 165. So that is how we are going to answer it. Right? Thank you.